Okay, so it's like six o'clock in the morning right now. I just couldn't sleep, so I just wanna go for a little run. I wanna run about like four, four to five miles. Um, I, I almost never do these like continuous runs, but when I really don't have a gym or I don't have any place, I think this is gonna be a good place to do it. So I'm just gonna run all the way down to the river, past the river, over into like past the Notre Dame, and then just keep going until I get to like one landmark that I almost forgot the name of, and then I'll turn and come back. So should be like, like I said, like four and a half miles. So we'll see how it goes. So I just stopped right in the uh, like Luxembourg Park or Luxembourg Palace or something, just like kind of like south of Notre Dame in the Louvre, and found a little like workout, like fitness area outside. So I did a little workout, probably like 10, 15 minutes, but just kind of hit everything real quick. Um, it's good. I'm sweaty. I'm feeling really good now, but I'm still like two miles away from the apartment. So it's pretty much my halfway point. So now I'm just gonna run all the way back. So I just got back to the apartment. I, in total, I was out for like an hour, counting the full workout, everything, so just over an hour. And I just checked my app on my phone and I ran 5.9 miles, so pretty decent. Pretty decent for doing that all before 7.30 in the morning, so I'm feeling great now. Now I can really enjoy I always like doing that, like when I was in Hawaii or wherever I go, it's so nice to get a really good workout in early in the morning. And then you can get back and just enjoy the rest of the day, kind of eat whatever you want to do, and just really enjoy the vacation. We are oui, in oui. Paris. Oh, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we're looking for a cafe to get a little coffee and a croissant. But uh, we're like right over near the Eiffel Tower. Oh, look. You in your happy spot now? <laughs> Can't even tell you. <laughs> Can't even tell you. Oh my god. So we found a little cafe. Mimi's very, very excited right now. We got our croissants coffee, orange juice, mm -hmm. some bread, some jam. We're all set. What more could you want? Life's good, yeah. So we just finished up at the Eiffel Tower. Uh, we're gonna go grab a quick little lunch, a little bite to eat. We're gonna lose the family real quick, so we gotta hurry, so let's go. They left us. Yeah. <laughs> In the kit, into the dungeon. Can you get this too? You got a melody here? No, it was on. Oh, yeah, you got it. Give me a one try, yours too. No. I give you about a mine. Only fair. It was a trap. I knew. I gave away my whole first grade, but I'm not doing that again. No. I give you about a mine, so it's a bite for a bite. I already gave you some of mine. Mimi, it's the rules. I gave you some of my first grade. Aww. <laughs> if I got a crepe, I would share with you. Get another one, bro. I don't want another one. I just wanted. I forgot that I like the lemon ones better than the Nutella ones. You can taste the lemon. Ha ha ha!
I wish I would have caught that on camera. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. So we're right now we're at the Chateau Chambard. Chateau de Chambard. Chambard. Chateau de Chambard, and it's Mimi's favorite chateau. <laughs> Most people don't have a favorite. Because everybody has a favorite. Most people don't have a favorite chateau, but Mimi does. I have been wanting to see this for years. But um, and years, and, she, and years, I'm gonna get married here. Um, should we go this way and on it? Yeah, I just, to, I just wanted to see it from that, like that far spot. Um, but anyway, we're just doing a little quick pit stop. We're actually headed to Bordeaux today instead of going to Germany, which is a long story, which I'll talk about later. Long, long story. Um, but yeah, so this is the Chateau Chambard, de Chambard, and it's actually pretty insane. And with this super pale sunset, it looks so fake. I keep thinking that there's swans. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Every time I see it, perfectly, no, it's not. Is that symmetrical? Yes, yeah, look at all the little Christmas trees. It's just perfect. There's nothing more perfect than this. I'm really glad we got to check out the venue ahead of time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just make sure we really liked it. What do you think? I think we should put down the deposit. You do think we should put down the deposit? Yeah. Do you have the million dollar deposit? Yep. All right, let's do it then. Right, what's going on guys? It's like 5.45 in the morning. I'm actually in Bordeaux, France right now. I'm gonna get a little bit of like a walk slash run. I think I found like a tennis court or like a basketball court or sock futsal. I don't know what on Google Maps though. So I'm just gonna run down to that, check it out. It's like a mile and a half away and hopefully it's open and I can go do a little training session in. I brought like my boots, a ball and a pump. Um, but if it's not, then I'll just, I guess, just run and hold all this stuff. I really don't know. So I'm really hoping that it's open and I can get like a little training session in. So I just stumbled on one like, what they call it, it's a sport park. I think it's like a sports park, St. Michelle or something. It's right here. It looks like it's just like a seven aside futsal court, but there's no goals at all. I don't know how, you, if you guys can see it, it's pretty dark, but it's a good surface. I mean, it's a little wet, but there's a wall. I could do some wall passing. It's a little low to do wall juggling. I can get a decent session in here. I think there might be something a little bit farther this way. So I'm just gonna go run down there, check it out. If there's nothing, then I'll make the most of it right here and just train at this uh, sport park right next to the, uh, the river, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go check it out down here. Okay, so we have a little basketball court right here. You guys can see a little basketball court and then another basketball court here. I'm gonna go check out what's down here. So it's actually like a full sand pit. Probably play some beach volleyball here. This would be really good to get a a workout in but I don't know how that sand's gonna feel when it's freaking 30 40 degrees outside right now but it's cool let's go check out down here I think I might be completely wrong but I think this is like a little either handball Jaya lie I don't know some type of court right here but that's a really really good wall to do wall juggling or wall passing on Oh yeah, that's good. That's the name of this place up here, Parc de Sport Saint Michel.
Okay, it is 7.03 in the morning. I just finished up the training session. It went really well. I was out here for probably 30 to 40 minutes, getting some good passes in, some good juggling. It's a little dark for the juggling. That was a little bit hard, but uh, everything else was really good. And uh, I mean, you know, it's only, it's not the most professional, not the most intense session, but over Christmas break in France, in Bordeaux, like randomly when I'm in downtown, just on vacation, this is much, much better than nothing. And at the very least, I still ran, you know, a mile and a half down here and about to run a mile and a half back. And I'm gonna test out the sand. If the sand's decent, I might do a few sprints just to finish. But uh, but yeah, awesome. Downtown Bordeaux, found this awesome wall. This was so sick. Whatever this is for, it might be Jai Lai, I might be completely wrong, but it, it, this really reminds me back of uh, the Germany days when I was just kind of like running around Germany, Frankfurt, Gießen, wherever, trying to find anywhere to train, anywhere to play. So pretty cool, I like that. I'm gonna try to test out the sand. Uh, I might get some sprints in, and then I'll go back home, run back home. I'm definitely not allowed to be here, but I'm gonna get a few sprints in real quick. If I don't get kicked out or get in trouble, but you can always play the dumb American. And, oh, I don't speak French. I don't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna set up the camera and just get a few sprints in. I did 10 full sprints. I would say this is about 40, 50 yards long. And I only rested like 15 seconds between each sprint. So high intensity, great way to finish. Now I'm just gonna do a nice jog back, mile and a half back to the apartment, and I can start my day in Bordeaux. Woo! That was good. All right, let's get out of here. So, if you guys are wondering what's going on, we're actually in Bordeaux right now. We were going to go to Germany and spend a night in like this really cool Schoenberg castle in Germany, um, but all of the trains were completely on strike, so we couldn't go from Paris to Germany. We really tried to scramble, try to look at flights, try to do anything to get there, but it just didn't work out. It didn't make sense to do that. So, we just rented cars, and now we are in Bordeaux. Um, so, I got a little training session in this morning, and we got here last night. So it's pretty much, we're gonna be here for the next like seven days, I think six or seven days, all through Christmas and just kind of spend time just really relaxing and enjoying Bordeaux. There's a few sites that we wanna see, but pretty much just kind of go to the wineries, grab some good food, go to cafes, have some coffee. So it's pretty relaxed and pretty low key, but um, it'll be perfect for Christmas. So really looking forward to it. Donc sur la partie traditionnelle, ça veut dire que bon, par exemple, vous avez encore des gens qui travaillent sur propriété aujourd'hui. Pourquoi il y a deux ans, de, deux ans entre les deux Vous avez du fromage et du plat également pour accompagner votre dégustation. On n'a pas demandé les nationalités ou alors une France Québec. Québec. Ah. <rire> So we're just walking down the river boardwalk right now uh, of the Gironde, headed to the wine museum um, and to see maybe some markets and stuff. But uh, I know I'm gonna get that question too, of like, oh, well, when you're traveling or how do you find like those areas to train? And honestly, what I do, and I've talked about this back in Germany, but what I do is I just go onto my iPhone and I go onto maps and I just zoom all the way in and do satellite mode. And I kind of like to scroll with my finger and I look in like a two, three mile radius around me and I just try to find a flat area like a basketball court 
or a soccer field or a grass uh, a park or anything. And I just try to find those types of areas and then I just run to them and hope for the best. And usually it works out. So that's like, I know people are like, well, how do you find these walls? How do you find these places to train? I just look on maps and then I go and I check it out. And most of the time I find a decent place to train. You can do a couple. Ooh, that's rough. I did not like the smell of that. That's because it's dark chocolate and orange. Smell it again. Oh. <laughs> do a different one. Uh, there's no different one. That's it? Yeah, there's only one. What the f <laughs> Uh, what's going on guys? So we're now in Barcelona. Um, I got a really good workout in this morning, which I'll play right now. <laughs> it's so easy to do this wherever you travel. I mean, I've done this in Germany, I've done this in Iceland, I've done this in New Zealand. Whenever you get to a new city and you wanna work out but you don't have a gym, you can usually go to these gyms, um, just search on your Apple Maps, Google Maps or whatever, search on your maps where the nearest gym is, just go to a chain gym, like a normal gym, and then just kinda of go in and ask if one, they have a free trial. And most of the time they have a free trial which you can go anywhere from like one session to three sessions to a full week of free sessions. All you have to do is just put in your name, email, stuff like that. Or you can just buy a day pass for like anywhere from like eight to $15 for a day. Um, so I just did a free trial this morning. And then, you know, for the rest of the week, I'll just buy, it's like eight euros if I want to work out for each day. So it's not bad at all. So that's what I'll do. Um, but yeah, really good session this morning in and then now it's just kind of do the same thing here, kind of travel around Barcelona. I've already been here before, but most of uh, Mimi's family hasn't. So we're going to go around, just explore, do all the normal stuff. But, uh, but yeah, this is like after Christmas now is where really when I ramp up the workouts, ramp up the training and really kind of, and ramp up the cardio a lot to just prepare to do that final push into preseason. So I can come into preseason fit, ready to go and leave a good first impression with all my teammates, the coaching staff, everybody.
It's pretty cold. <laughs> I've, what do you think? Is it colder? Yeah, it's like low 60s. I think we should swim in it. Swim? With a wetsuit? Oh! oh. Did it get in your shoe? Yeah. <laughs> Her shoes are wet right now. Hey, wash them yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, look cleaner now. Good. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> it for the uh, for the Europe vlog. I had an amazing time with the Duggars going all over Europe and traveling so big thank you to them for allowing me to come on the trip with them um, and it was just a really good Christmas and, and New Year's all, all in all. Uh, so I had an amazing trip and I ended up going actually doing some sort of workout, going on a run or getting some touches on the ball almost every other day so pretty decent especially over that time when I really like to just kind of like keep my workouts a little bit lower and just enjoy time with family and friends. Uh, so very good. Now it's really time to ramp up the workouts and get ready for preseason, which starts in about two weeks. So I'm so excited for that. And, uh, and yeah, so if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Peace.